If you've recently received some snow, then you know it's time to take down your kid's trampoline. In today's video, I'm going to go over some tips to taking it down and how to store it. The three items you're going to need is a large box to store all the components. And I like to use a bucket for storing all the springs. Along with this tool, it's designed for pulling the springs, makes it a lot easier. If you don't already have this tool for removing the springs around your trampoline, I suggest getting one. Not a secret to getting this trampoline down simple and successful is to do it while your kids are at school. Let's get started. The first step, what you want to do is remove all of your springs that are attached to the safety netting. Like this one is here and this one is not. What we're going to do is we're going to take out all of the springs except for four corners. So we'll leave one here, one over here, one spring on the back side, and one spring over here. So have your bucket ready and just take it with you as you go around. Lift up on your foam pad safety covering here and just take your tool and grab onto the back of the spring with the hook and just give it a pull and it comes right out. Go ahead and do that with the rest of the springs, but leave the four corners. Now that you have just your four corners attached yet, and your safety screen is all loose, then the next step, you'll want to remove these bars, these upright bars. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. And you use your Phillips head on this side just to hold that still so it doesn't turn. Well, you go ahead and loosen up this lock nut on the end here. And then go ahead and do the same thing for the other five. Once you have your hardware out, pick it up and then just lay it down. And so you don't lose this hardware come spring. Put it back inside where it came from and just snug it up. As you go around each one, just keep laying them down on top and set them in place until you get to the last one. And then we'll roll it all up and we'll put it in a nice safe space, either in your basement or in your garage. Now the next step is just to gather all these poles. Best if you just climb inside. Get them all together. Pick them on out. Now the next step is to get this blue mat taken off. You can just go ahead and just pull it over the top. One tip before rolling this all up is to make sure that it is clean and dry. Once you got it clean and dry, lay it out like this and then just roll it up at each crease here. Now for the final step, just go ahead and remove the last four springs. Take this out to your lawn, get it rolled up, make sure it's also dry and clean. Now for the trampoline part itself, just take it and fold it in half. And then take this end and fold it back in. One more time. Now just fold it up into sections as big as small as you need it for your to fit in your box. Place everything nicely inside your box. So you know where it is for next spring. Oh yeah, one last tip before you go ahead and store your trampoline. Throw a bounce dryer sheet inside the box. Why? Because it'll keep mice and other varmints from going inside. So it'll keep your 
items from getting chewed up over the winter months. One thing I should mention, I do leave the frame itself stay up all winter. I do have this secured with these straps and anchors and it seems like that really works well in the summertime with that netting on there. It keeps the whole thing from moving when you're bouncing on it along with keeping it secure during windy days if you're getting a storm or anything like that. So I recommend putting those straps on your trampoline if you don't already have them. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get those and which ones I'm using. And it looks like I finished just in time. Dad, what did you do to my trampoline? Well, I took it down. Dad! I showed everybody how to take it down for the winter. Uh, well, I can't play on it anymore. Thank you, Walter.